Hey everybody, it is about 4 o'clock Thursday afternoon. Today has been a really long day. I normally do 10 hour days, but I'm still, ugh, I'm exhausted. I did not sleep at all last night. Um, okay, at my job, um, we have people from all over. The U.S., foreign countries, everything. I mean, we've got a huge mixture of people. And one thing that just is disgusting, and I posted this on Facebook, so I'll vlog it as well. No names, no nothing. Oh my God, are you serious? Stupid car in front of me. Really, she's trying to turn left, but she won't even pull into the intersection so that they know that she's trying to move, go left. If I miss this light, lady, I will ram into your goddamn car. Okay. So, at work. I don't know about girls, because I'm never in the girls' restroom, but the guys that go into the restroom, and, okay, if you're peeing, you still need to, you still need to wash, okay? I don't care if you're peeing or whatever. You still need to wash, okay? So there's people that will go to the urinal. I'm gonna stall because I'm pee shy, so I'm not gonna go to the urinal. But I hear them, they stop. Some don't even flush. And then some that do, they walk right out the door. And I'm like, are you serious? So there's that, there's that type of person. And then there's the ones that you hear them flush, they walk up to the sink, and they turn the water on, whoosh, rinse, turn off, and go. Like, okay. I could see that if you're just peeing. No, that's still gross. If you're going to take the time to turn the water on, use some soap. And don't tell me there's no soap, because there's always soap. The ones that are the most disgusting are the guys in the stalls and because of whatever you hear you know they're doing more than just peeing they flush walk out of the stall and walk right out the door okay really really you got some stuff on your hands you need to go wash off and the ones that go number two and then walk up and rinse? Really? You got some shit particles on your hand. You just got done wiping. You need to do more than rinse. Really? Oh my god. That's, yeah. No. That's really gross. Oh. Other than that, that was gross today. And that happens honestly all the time. I just, it happened two or three times today. Because for some reason, I've been peeing like a racehorse all day. Oh my God. Like I, I normally can, I know this is TMI, I know. Normally I can go almost all day without having to pee. But yeah, not today. Today, God, I went like four or five times. I'm like, what the hell? Oh my god, and no, I'm not a diabetic. No, I'm not, whatever. I just was peeing a lot today. Because I know, someone's going to say, are you sure you're not a diabetic? They really have to go all the time. Yeah, no, I'm not a diabetic. Um, it's Thursday. I'm so glad. I mean, I have two more days of work, but it's just my next two days I get to work from home. So I don't have to... Um, going to the office, which is always nicer because it's a lot more relaxing. I can get a lot of stuff done when I'm at home. Plus my work. I get my work done. Um, oh my god. Okay, my stalker photos. Did I say this already in the other video? I might have. I don't know. I got caught the other day. I was at the grocery store and I normally never have the flash on on my camera because, hello, that's a big giveaway. You're taking someone's photo. And my camera's good enough that I don't need it. 
but I had gone on a walk with Ava in the morning with the dogs, and I was taking some photos of the flowers that are on the in the block that we go around. And I wanted it to be bright, so I turned the flash on. Well, I forgot. And I'm standing at the end of this checkout aisle. Ava was paying, and the guy behind her was talking to me. He was really cute. It was funny. So I'm doing my normal, you know, spy thing, stealth. And it looks like I'm texting on my phone when I'm actually aiming it so that I can take a photo. And I hit the button, and the flash went off. And I was like, oh! It wasn't that loud. <laughs> but I like grabbed the, I put my hand behind the phone to cover the flash. I was like, oh, okay. Acting like, oh, what happened? But then I got so flustered that I couldn't get an angle enough to get another photo of him. Otherwise I would have, I tried. Did not go through. Okay, gotta stop the light. Um, so it was just crazy, but everything was okay. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> oh, I love coming home on the hill. So no, he didn't hit me. Everybody at work, they're like been saying, I can't wait till you get caught and you get come to work with a black guy. Yeah, whatever. You know, it's not gonna happen. I'm usually pretty discreet. Most people never know. And I've got 30 pictures already. Oh, God. You guys gotta come up to Capitol Hill and just drive around. Um, I remember the first time that my family we came up to do something. I think we came up to go to Dick's Burgers. And, okay, crazy people. Yeah, it's crazy people. Um, and when we came up, it was uh, Gay Pride Sunday, and the parade was going on. And we were driving down the road, and all of a sudden, all of these drag queens were walking across the street. And it's funny, my little cousins were like, who is that? So we spent the day driving around looking at people. And that's what I love doing here, because every day on the way home, I'm like, there is, yeah, there's no, there's just tons of people to watch. So, right now I'm passing, oh, I want to turn the camera around so you can see. <laughs> Jesus. Because this, yeah. To my left is Cal Anderson Park. It, um, I've talked about it before. It there's a baseball field and I think they play soccer there um, but a lot of times they there's more people oh yeah frisbee football um, a lot of times there's people that just sit out with blankets and stuff and bring books and I guess sunbathe even though it's Seattle um, but it, it gets warm here a little bit and everybody goes and goes on the field um, and nobody complains they just you know everybody coexists it's you know, really fun, really nice. Um, okay, seriously, who's honking? I know you can hear the fire. It's actually an ambulance, but it's the um, oh, it's the medic one from the Seattle Fire Department. You're gonna see it go by right there. Um, it's so funny that happened. Oh, look, it's Tony Buff, porn star. Tony Buff, Google him. Um, he lives in that building. Um, but that's what I mean. There's always stuff to see. You never know. I mean, one corner there's a porn star. One corner there's a hooker. On the way to work, there's pimps and hoes. <laughs> it's kind of fun. I'm waiting for Brian. Brian, I'm calling you out. You haven't made your video yet. And I'm trying to think of who else. I haven't gotten any other questions. Or if I got a question, I answered it already. I know I answered the list of questions from him. But I'm still waiting to get more. I'm always willing to answer questions. Um, okay. So I'm almost home. I'm going to turn this off. Because I'm, I'm trying to get by this bus. Hope you guys have a good night. It's Thursday. What's on tonight? Ooh, Big Brother. Live eviction. The rumor is they're supposed to be bringing the coaches into the game, which I don't think is fair. Oh, God. See, now I'm started on this. It's not fair that the coaches are coming into the game because they've had four weeks to talk and get secrets and strategize with all the players. 
not as other players. So, of course, everybody's going to be open and, and, you know, willing to discuss that stuff with them. And the problem is they have all these secrets. They know what's going on. That's not fair to the other players. So I don't think they should bring the coaches into the game tonight. I'm hoping they don't. Um, Big Brother's kind of changed. It's not the same because they're doing some of this weird stuff. And if you if you guys have watched The Glass House, that's on Mondays. I don't think I watched it this week. I need to watch it. It's on the DVR. Um, the Glass House is kind of weird too because it's kind of like a spinoff of... Well, it's not a spinoff because they say they can't... Oh. They say they can't, sorry. They say they can't, um, today is a good day. Um, they say they can't, um, use the idea of Big Brother because that would be a copyright infringement or something like that. Um, so, but you know, it's the same thing. They live in a glass house where people are watching them. Hello, Big Brother. So, and I think I like Big Brother better, but this year the, they're doing different stuff and I don't like it as much. I kind of want them to do an all-star or an actual celebrity Big Brother like they do in the UK. I think that would be cool. Um, I know they're not going to live in the house for three months. Maybe they'll do like, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here and do it for like three weeks. So that would be fun. I'll watch that. So, but they need to do something to get, you know, more going. So I'm going in my garage. This is going to be dark. So I'm going to um, turn this off. And I will talk to you guys probably, I'll probably tomorrow. I don't know. I'll make another one. Um, but I'm not going to be driving anywhere because I'll be home. So, ooh, look how it's weird and dark. Okay, bye.